Hi, we're the St. Joe's Robohawks, and we're going to be explaining our project, and Harry's going to start. Our problem is there are too many cars in the street. This means there's a lot of traffic and fuel emissions, which is bad for the environment and makes getting around very hard. One way to stop this is to get people to use public transportation, but people, but people do not want to ride public transportation for various reasons. One main reason is the cleanliness of the train stations. Chip bags, gum wrappers, and other trash are left around the subway. Cool. One of the first actions we took as a team was traveling to the Boston Society of Architects, also known as BSA, to come up with ideas for our project. At BSA, we learned from multiple professionals. We ended up we ended up deciding to learn more about the problem of public transportation. We sent out a survey to our school asking que questions that would help us find out what matters most to pu the public. The 112 responses we received greatly assisted us to decide on our problem. Our team visited the BSA, the Boston Society of Architects, and listened to two lectures about public transportation. We were also given a tour of the museum. After thinking about possible solutions for a while, we decided to create more public green space. We realized that we needed to get less cars on the road to have more room for green space. We decided to, that to get fewer cars on the road, we needed more people to take public transportation. We then conducted a survey so we could know why people don't take public transportation as much as they do. We ended up, we ended up with more than 100 results and could use this information to understand what people wanted. According to our survey, most people didn't use public transportation because of the scheduling and unreliability. Unreli re because we don't have very much control over the timing, we chose another common reason of our solution to clean subways is a high-tech trash barrel that autonomously moves around the train car vacuum, car vacuum. It will allow people to throw away their trash. When the time is right, it will move around and around the train cleaning. The system inside of our robot will allow it to be emptied easily without a trash bag. We will call our robot Salud, meaning help in Spanish because it keeps the people who use public transportation healthy. That is our major motivation for using the subway. We have a diagram of subway below. We think the subways need more than janitors to clean the train. The train should at least have trash barrels. Our idea is to make a robot that cleans the train and that people can throw their trash in. In our survey, people were very concerned about how the trains aren't cleaned. We want people to ride public transportation more so streets won't be crowded. If trains are clean and attractive, people will be less concerned about trains. So we researched this to find out if the solution was already in existence. And we found out that this idea was proposed for use in homes in 2015. And it received over $100,000 in pledges. But our solution is different because it is built to be used in public transportation. We changed a few aspects of our design to make it more compatible with subways. It'll move autonomously to clean up at the end of the day. And we decided to make an inner container to make it easier to empty. We shared our solution with the MBTA, BSA space, Hopkins Ride, St. Joseph School in Wakefield, Beth McClessey, an environmental engineer, and Melissa Brady, a senior project manager at Suffolk Construction. We received good feedback from these people in the organization.